Hey, how's it going everyone? This is the Anime Man. Welcome to another episode of Joey Does Reviews. In this episode, I will be reviewing the kind of spooky, yet really deep and insightful Death Parade. There's a goddamn plane flying outside that I want to sh shut up. Anyways, now this was a series that I was really eyeing uh, when the first announcement actually came out when I saw the trailer for it because it was like really arty looking, but it, they described it as psychological horror. And you know, if you've been on my channel for a while or you've seen my top tens and or reviews, then you'd know that I love psychological horror. So I had to watch this series. And oh my God, am I glad I watched this because this series was everything that I expected and more. Now let's get through the main synopsis before we jump into the review. The series is set in a kind of afterlife bar that they call the Queen Dekim, where two contestants, contestants that they call it, come to the Queen Dekim after death, forgetting that the fact that they had died, forgetting about the reasons that they had died. Now, they come to Queen Dekim, this bar, where they are assessed by the bartender, Dekim, to see whether they will be either resurrected or they will be dropped down into hell. Now, in order to assess these two people, a roulette is spun and they play a particular game. This can be anything from cards, to arcade machines, to ping pong, to darts, to you name it, all kinds of bar games that you'd find in regular bars. However, one day a mysterious girl comes into Queen Dekim and realizes or remembers that she actually died. And thus, she is taken in to Queen Dekim to help out the bartender Dekim to assess the dead people that come to Queen Dekim. However, as Dekim is not a human and the people who assess these dead people at Queen Dekim are not human, they do not really understand the kind of dark human emotions that these dead people bring towards Queen Dekim to for them to kind of assess. So what actually happens if a so-called puppet at Queen Dekim start to understand or start to try and understand these foreign human emotions? So this series again uh, ended a, actually a few days ago to the recording of this video. This uh, this video has been recorded on the 2nd of April and it actually ended on the 28th of March. It literally ended about three or four days ago and this series was absolutely fan Fantastic. Like I can't get over how like dark and psychological and absolutely like messed up this series could get. Now one positive I can definitely say right off the bat is the animation quality and the art style. It's so raw but it's really like playful and artistic at the same time and it really fits the kind of theming and the setting that Death Parade is part of. And definitely the character interactions and the character development, especially towards the second half of the series where you start to really see this change in character of all the characters, including Dekim and the main protagonist. And I don't know, just like everything about like just the feeling of this series was just really, really solid in my opinion. It really, they really knew, the creators of Death Parade really knew how to set a kind of feeling or like aura as they call it that really suits the genre and the story and just everything like just that just harmonize together really really well. This series is yet again one of those plot twist mindfuck series that you really need to like pay attention to because they like they make your mind blow like straight off like see like episode two the first mind blow just straight off the bat like you find out you know the kind of behind the scenes of what actually happens in episode one like straight away and I thought that was really interesting because usually when they do those kinds of stuff they establish you know a few episodes in usually about you know all these kinds of scenarios and what is actually happening when you look at it from the third person perspective so usually after about maybe the third or fourth episode they go they jump into the first person perspective of the characters and actually show you you know all the behind the scenes that you couldn't see in the first couple of episodes and then you finally realize that like oh okay this is what's actually happened but i found it really interesting that they did a straight off seat like episode two like uh, that was something that i was not expecting so that was really cool that they really established you know the behind the scenes really early on in the series. Now let's go on to the critiquing of some parts that they could have kind of worked on because this series in my opinion was really good but it wasn't it wasn't quite perfect. Now one thing I think that could have definitely worked on if they maybe had a few more episodes because this series only had 12 episodes was trying to maybe explain 
some of the secondary characters a little bit more. Now, of course, some of the secondary characters that you see throughout the series, like the Elevator Boy, for example, I forget his name, you, you know, he's like one of those characters that are just there to like, you know, build on the setting or build on the kind of theming. So it's, you, it's not essential to know the backstory of that character, but maybe knowing, you know, the backstory of say Oculus or even Norna would have been really quite interesting to, you know, maybe further reinforce, you know, what the setting actually is, like what is Quindecim actually? You know, obviously a lot of people say that it is the kind of Nirvana of the series, but you know, it would have been interesting to see like, you know, who actually runs Quindecim, like what is actually going on behind the scenes, you know, who is Oculus, who is Norna? It's not quite fully established in the series, unfortunately, so you have to kind of assume what is going on just from the subtle hints that they leave every now and then. But one thing I can say that they really nailed with this series was the ending, like the ending was just really nice and like it was ambiguous it kind of left you a little bit of an ambiguous feeling but yet again it was really satisfactory you know just with that final scene especially like if you guys have seen the series then you'll know what i'm talking about like that final scene just that final shot before the credits roll especially it's like oh okay everything wasn't for nothing you know actually something did change overall i give death parade a nine cat faces out of ten like like i said this series was absolutely fantastic it you know gay really gave us more than we actually was hoping for. Yet again, like I said, there were a few points that I think they could have maybe worked on a little bit more. You never know, there might be season two that maybe could explain this kind of stuff, but I highly doubt it, especially the way that they ended the series. But I definitely think, guys, that if you love your psychological horror and or drama or like, you know, like exploring human emotions kinds of series, then Death Parade is the perfect series that will really get you on the edge of your seat so i highly recommend it guys anyways guys that was my review for death prey do you like death prey did you dislike death prey do you agree with my opinion or do you disagree with my opinion let me know all that kind of stuff in the comments below also let me know what series you would like me to review next it could be an anime series manga series visual novel light novel pretty much anything that has to do with anime if you guys want to see a review for it then i'll try and do it anyways thanks for watching guys always like favorite enjoy subscribe for any banner see you guys next video whatever i may keep watching anime johnny today.